Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I am back here this week with a weekly collective energy reading. Um, and what I've actually been doing just to make it easier for me, because I don't always have time to sit down and film, I have split it into two weeks. So instead of just being one week, it's going to be two weeks. So this one is going to be April 7th through April 21st. So what I do is I take a couple different of my decks that I have, ones that I feel drawn to, and I will pull a couple cards from each deck. And we see what comes up, you know, for the next few weeks. So yes, we will get right into it. So I'm going to start off with these. So first one we have here is loved ones in spirit. Okay. And I've actually been pulling this card a lot, you know, in my own personal readings. And this is just a reminder to you that your loved ones are with you. And I hope you're as blessed and lucky as I am to be able to have that connection with your loved ones in spirit because I can feel my loved ones all the time. I get signs all the time. I've talked about it before. I get the feathers. I get the cardinals. I'll find coins once in a while, um, you know, and I'm just so grateful to be able to have that relationship, you know, with my loved ones up there. Um, it's just, it's such a beautiful thing. And I almost feel more connected to them now than I did when they were here in the physical, which is crazy, but it is such a beautiful thing to experience. And it just, it gives me so much peace and comfort knowing that I am supported. I am watched over and my loved ones are with me. And I hope you, you know, if you're watching this, you feel the same, but yes, this is just a reminder that your ancestors are visiting and it's also time to, you know, continue to heal old limiting beliefs and patterns, you know, that, unfortunately we have carried from our ancestors because we do we do carry that pain and uh you know it's just a reminder that we can heal from that and we are loved and we are supported from spirit next is the earth card so this is just a reminder that you are building a firm foundation and pay attention to the details like you'll know you know i believe that you can find your purpose i know a lot of people are like oh i don't know what my purpose is i don't know like how to build i don't know how to do this i don't know how to do that really go inside because that's one thing i've learned like you can find the answers within if you really go within you can find it you know so work on building that foundation what do you want in life what do you want to do do you have new like career ideas do you want to leave your relationship you know just really um think about that because you can build the life that you want for yourself Synchronicity. Um, pay attention to synchronicities. Um, again, I've pulled this card too for myself as well with my own personal readings. And um, it's really cool to get them. I've actually gotten quite a few of them. And that's, you know, when you know you are on the right path, as it says here, you are on the right path and everything is coming together. And just trust that and pay attention to the synchronicities. Because if you really pay attention, I don't think you can miss them. So, yes. I'll do these next. So face your fears, okay? And this is something, you know, that I'm trying to work on myself. You know, like me, I'm terrified of the dentist. I'm terrified of the doctors, you know, and I need to work on that. Um, it, it is very um, scary, some of the stuff, and it sucks. Like fear does suck, and it will control every aspect of your life if you let it. But this is just a reminder just to face them, you know, and I need to do the same. Um, face your fears. Release the power of fear, you know, because it really doesn't have to have control over us. Unfortunately, I think a lot of it is the ego. The ego wants to control us. The ego wants us to feel safe. And, you know, we have to try to work on that. It's not easy. It's definitely easier said than done. I will say that. But this is just a reminder. Just face your fears, you know, to the best of your ability. You know, again, I know it's not easy. So believe me, I understand because I'm going through the same crap myself. Next, we have the money card. So, you know, it says here, find a way to abundance. But it also means, you know, some of you could be coming into a little bit of money um, at some point. Or, you know, maybe some of you guys, you know, like to find a new job. You'd like to get more income, you know. And there's ways to do that. Just, you have to just look for it, you know. You have to figure out what you want to do. And, you know, sometimes things come to you. But, you know, what do you want? What do you want to do? And then we have the cheer up card. So this is just a reminder to live in the moment, you know, be happy, find joy, you know, try not to be so stuck and stagnant and feeling down. I know how that is because I kind of fall into that as well. So just a reminder to be happy, enjoy your life. It's too short. It really is. It's very short. Okay, so we have the divine presence. So this talks about the force of love and creation. So this card like represents healing and enlightenment. 
Um, the guidebook says, we have come here together for important reasons, and connecting with divine consciousness is one that we all share. Recognize and honor the beautiful energy of the divine within you. No greater strength exists than the co-creative power of aligning your own intentions with this infinite source. Connect with this loving force, which is always within you, willing to answer your questions, heal your hurts, and fulfill your dreams when you open up to the radiant, ever-glowing light of the divine. Its endless blessings will illuminate your life. And the affirmation for this is, I am one with the loving presence of the divine. I align my life with the pure light of abundant creation. And so it is. And then we have relaxation. So peaceful pursuits, happy times. Might be a good time to take time out to relax. Um, I know that's something that I enjoy doing. It definitely helps me recharge. I'm a very high-functioning um, empath. I am so drained all the time. Um, a lot of people drain me. Um, it's not always easy for me to be out in the public either. Um, so finding time to relax and just kind of shut the world out for a little bit is such a beautiful thing, especially for me. Um, it calms me down. It helps me, you know, regain clarity and it just, it feels good, you know, and life can be very busy and hectic as well. So make sure you are finding the time to relax. Um, whether it's just chilling at home on the couch, watching TV, whether it's, you know, going out with your friends who can make you laugh, um, even, you know, joining a sports team or joining an art class, going on vacation, just do something that makes you happy, you know, find time for those happy times because you definitely deserve them and they're needed in life, you know, we're constantly going, we're creatures of just go, 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 and it just, it's hard sometimes, so make sure you find time for that. And the affirmation for this is, I am weaving more fun and relaxation into my life, my peaceful pursuits expand my spiritual connections, and I am grateful. So, yeah, find time to relax. Hopefully you can. And we have creation, soul expression, and something new. So this card you know, can refer to new creative beginnings. Could be business, personal projects, or family matters. But your soul is looking for you to create something new, work on something, um, whatever that may be. It could be all sorts of stuff. Um, it's also a good time for putting your creative ideas into your work or personal projects. So the affirmation for this is great creativity is blossoming in my life and I'm open to new ideas and actions that expand my soul's expression in the world. Okay, so this card says go for it. So yeah, if there's a decision or something you've been thinking about doing or want to do, this card is a reminder to jump. Okay, go for it. You are supported. You can do this. You are strong. You are brave. And again, as it says, go for it. Jump. Take that leap. You got this. We have the higher power card. Now this card, I kind of... Um, I read it personally, like, for myself as to just, you know, find your higher power, trust in your higher power, and just know that you are divinely guided. You are divinely supported, you know, as long as, of course, it is for the best and highest good of humanity. Um, you know, you have that support. You have that love. You know, keep that faith. It will definitely help you with this journey. And then we have changes, okay? So, yeah, um... There's obviously a lot of change going on for all of us right now in each of our lives. And this is just a reminder that, you know, change is inevitable, you know, and it that's one thing we can't escape, you know, and I don't always do good with changes either. But, you know, sometimes it's necessary and, you know, in other aspects, sometimes there's just nothing you can do about it. You just have to kind of go with the flow. You have to accept the changes and, you know, but just trust that it's all for the highest and best good. Okay, we have the Healer of the Ages. So this card, I kind of read it as there might be some deeper levels of healing that you need at this time. Um, you may need to take some time out to relax and re-energize, you know, kind of like that other card. You know, find that time to relax. It's very important because, like I said, if we keep going, you know, we don't take that time to integrate. We don't take that time to relax. It can just cause a lot of imbalance. Um, it can cause some stress and anxiety. Um, so, yeah, you know, just make sure you're taking care of yourself. And, you know, again, I need to listen to this as well. Um, you know, and just do what you need to do, 
you know, to love yourself and heal yourself and just know that uh, you are supported. We have the seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. So seventh chakra is the crown chakra. So um, yeah, call upon Archangel Uriel to, you know, I mean, depending on where you are in your life, like I'm, you know, working on trying to open my chakras more and whatnot. And one thing that I do like to do is a lot of chakra meditations. Um, maybe some of you guys are into that. I'm not really sure. I know we're all different. But um, yeah, call upon Archangel Uriel to help you, you know, strengthen your crown chakra. And one affirmation I'll always say with this is my crown chakra is open to its perfect, healthy and vital state. And, you know, the crown chakra is important, you know, it's where we receive all like spirits wisdom and whatnot. So yeah. And then we have a man holding a heart. So this card can refer to being brought greater clarity about emotions and your purpose in life. Um, this could also be referring to maybe, I mean, maybe the man is already in your life and, you know, it could be vice versa too, like if you're a guy, you know. I guess it doesn't really matter, but um, there could be somebody new coming into your life, some sort of new romantic relationship, and um, could be pretty good. So, yeah, some of you guys might be experiencing that, or you might already be, or you might be getting ready to experience that, if that makes sense. Hopefully that came out right, but yeah, um, a deeper love, a new love with a very caring man. You know, this man is holding a heart. You know, he has love. You know, and the things that you might be looking for. So, yeah, that's what we have for April 7th through April 21st. I hope this helps, and I will see y'all in a couple weeks. Take care. Bye, guys.